Welcome back. Today we're unboxing from DC's McFarlane line from the Batman series, I guess. That's the only way I can really talk about it. Is the Riddler. So of course I just noticed that these have gone. These look very they're very nice. I did unbox the King Shazam from the McFarlane line. Why does this tripod not want to work now? Like it keeps on doing this. So is this how you do them? I don't know how you do these things. Because I'm still brand new to the line. Maybe once I get a few more from the and things, we can decide how some box is. And again, the box cut is just dying on me. Hang on. We'll get there, guys. We'll get there. There we are, I think. I think that works. <sighs> These stop the players, man. Right, that's one side. And that just... <sighs> it always happens. Alright. There's one part. And there's the other part. See the layer box. Oh, wait. Before I forget, for every video, the rest of the series, we have Batman, Catwoman, Penguin and the Bat Cycle. All based on the movie. And now we've got to try and get through this cardboard to get to the card and the stand for this figure. Hang on there. Hang on there. I don't know why the can's now gone full fuzzy. Why is the can gone all fuzzy? There we go. Why didn't father make it so hard for me? A little poor Maxwell to unbox their figgies. Like, this isn't helping anyone when it comes to <laughs> the future of your McFarlane stuff. Right? Unless you're keeping it mint in card. If you're keeping it mint in card, mint in, card, mint in box. Like, this is this is how hard it's taking. It is not even letting me go through. It's not letting me tear. I'm not weak, bro. I'm not weak. They just decide to put like five layers of plastic on this. There we go. No, it's not even gone through. <laughs> oh dear. Now the bit's gone. There's a bit. This is the disaster. I think the McFarlane's are cursed at this stage. The box car breaks in them. Ah, oh, the box works last, last video. There we are. Like, this is something McFarlane does need to improve on, I think. I understand you have people that will take the stuff. But. Right, so there's a picture on the card. Of the Riddler. From the movie. And on the back, we're waiting. Ashton. Damn. I've still not seen this movie, so I don't know why I picked this up. I just saw it seven quid, I thought, yeah, I'll pick it up. So it's a very nice looking card. Now, let's talk about the main reason of this unboxing. The Riddler. Let's get his weird... You could use that in your wrestling... You could use that like wrestling figure to some sort of weapon. Maybe shickle or something. Now, let's get the Riddler out of here. So, yeah. The articulation on the leg is actually very fine. Now is it on the arms? The arm moves fine, he's got double jointed elbows. Oh no, he's still got pins, he's still got pinned elbows, but it's still... It's alright. I'm still not sure about this line. And he's moulded on there. I don't know how to feel about it. Like, 
you could have this be like a guy again in your pig feds comes in with this slashy thing, slashy gimmick. I don't know, maybe you get Dex Lewis custom made. You have him come in or run him in with a nappy thing. How does it do on the stand? It's got a full articulation. It's better than that King Kazan, I can say that. It's better than that King Kazan figure we unboxed only a few days ago. It's this rubber thing though that's costing me to love this figure. It's like a very it's a good figure. It looks nice, it feels nice in the end. I don't know. I don't know about this line. I might maybe if I see one more. And I'm hoping that it's not, like, it's cheap, but it's a good-looking figure, maybe like a Batman or something. Then, yeah, I'll pick these up, but I don't know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like and subscribe. I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you, and goodbye.